Hey guys, we're back. We are on video. Wait, 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 wait. Are you okay? We're on video number four of the night. <laughs> Hello guys. How are you doing? I'm here to show you my beard. <laughs> Look at the strokiness. Sorry. Hey, you know what? Yeah. I wear my heart on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, so uh, I don't know if you guys are Cure fans or if you've gone to Cure, but have you seen how cool, like, how they did all of their uh, uh, posters and shirts for the tour? That's kind of freaking Every awesome. city they went to, a different artist made a different poster and T-shirt. That's really freaking cool. Yeah, My cool. favorite one may be the Scarface one, though, the Miami one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's pretty yeah. awesome. But this one's Atlanta's. This is Atlanta. Close second. Yeah, yeah. The it's heart. The heart. Mm. Everyone's got a heart. Yummy it is, or good it is. Guys, today we have a video from Baby Metal called Maya. It just came out a couple days ago. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I know the song, but. Oh, uh, listen to him. He's the know it all. What else we got? Oh, we got a beer from Lady Boy Brewing called Plumberry Bandit. Oof. Plumberry. Hmm. You know, remember that kid who put his thumb in a plum? <gasps> is he the bandit? That is an awful story, by the way. I <laughs> never understood that one. All right, we'll be right back. I like that story about that the was... kid that put his finger in the dam. and You like that one? He prevented Amsterdam from being flooded. Well, true, but... Yeah. Of course, he didn't have a life. He couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> they just came over and brought him random pastries, cheese. Yeah. Then when he got really old and his phone be his phone, his phone, <laughs> his finger got too big. I'm just going to leave that story there. OK, so don't stick your fingers in things. And don't put your phone in a dam. Yeah, well, yeah. Definitely that's, don't put your phone in a dam. That's the lesson of the day, folks. Okay, so on that note, I've already opened the beer, but it's Plumberry Bandit, and it's a fruited Berliner Weiss style. Uh, style L. It's 4% alcohol, and it's from our friends at Lenny Boy Brewing. So another well-done new label because their labels have changed yeah, so okay. much. And I actually did buy this one off the label. I'm going to be honest. This will just look kind of cool. But this has boysenberry in it. I freaking love boysenberry. Freaking, I'd take a bath in boysenberry. You so wouldn't you want, want to it. eat it or drink it afterwards, but I love it. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Ooh. What does that remind me of? A glass of like, beer? Like some strawberry wine. <laughs> 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 Sorry. What's that brand? Boone's Farm. Boone's Farm. Boone's Farm, Farm boys. Woo. It's got a bunch of kids through high school. Just letting you know, do not drink if you're underage. And also, do not drink bad alcohol. Yeah, when you get older. I don't because care. Because we do what, not promote underage drinking. I don't care what Lando Calrissian told you. Do not drink Colt 45 and stay away from Old English 800. I or St. Ives. Friends. Yes. <laughs> no, Mad Dog 2020, yeah. even worse, especially the orange and the grape. Mm. But it is nothing compared to natural light, which should be called mm. water. Yeah, natural enema, maybe. Natural. Is it <laughs> X-lax liquid. But there's nothing natural about it. Miralax. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Guys, we're losing. All right, we just, yeah, we just kind of completely so this, off what we're doing uh, here. I got to be honest. The smell doesn't impress me a lot. No, it's... Uh, I'm expecting it to yeasty. taste better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeasty, kind of like that odd, you know, like uh, coriander-y, like, like uh, Belgians. Like, yeah. that's kind of what I'm picking up, and I don't know why. I mean... Little little funk to it. I mean, it smells. Almost but you get like, the fruit a little bit, but it's way back in the background. It almost smells like corn pops, or dry active or yeast. sugar smacks. <laughs> sugar smacks. <laughs> uh, very similar. Okay. Anyway, let's try it. Mm. 
Wow, it's got a little bit of a what tartness. What is that? It has tart, but there is like this. Um, hold on, let me try it again. I honestly expected it to be a little sweeter. All right, we're gonna have to kick yeah, this one around a bit. This. So we're gonna go over to Baby Metal, and we haven't had Baby Metal on well for a little bit. It hasn't been that long. But they are on heavy rotation in my own personal playlist, definitely. Mine too. I mean, I've got the one vinyl, mm -hmm. and I've got the Baby Metal uh, compilation, that would be Baby Metal Years, whatever it's called. Oh, I'm right, right. Like right like now? 10 uh, years or 10 something. 10 years, like yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but I listen to those, and my wife loves it, let me tell you. <laughs> um, but I just, I just love... The the one is like oh, yeah. uh, I can't stop listening to it. So, and my wife's like, I just don't get you. Like, well, yeah, oh well, that's normal. That's part of a marriage. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. But yeah, all right. So let's listen to Baby Metal Maya, and this is them uh, live Blu-ray DVD. Baby Metal begins the one Black Knight. You guys can read that, right? You they see can. how I do that? That's yeah. like I graduated from first grade. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. stage production is ridiculous freaking always, out of this world always ridiculous even when it's this is pretty tame compared to some of their stuff but this is still i love this 100 song. times more than most bands do and i gotta say when it kicked in it reminded me of what i love about baby metal and it's those heavy drums i love oh, the heavy God. drums and then you have these they start off with kind of more of a talking type of a line yeah usually and uh, that lady's voice. Oh yeah, when she hits those notes, mm -hmm. I love this. This, I mean, I I can sit here and listen to this like on repeat. Yeah. This this is one of the songs that I'll listen to nonstop. So, awesome. and think of where we came from. Well, at least where I came from. Yeah. I mean, you were there too. We were yeah. watching no, these Baby Metal was us together in red skirts dancing around, going hi hi, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> where but, did we? What hell have we entered? <laughs> But now, I mean, they're one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's one of those things. They're kind of like uh, they get under your skin like that. Well, what was that? The Langoliers or what was that? The you know what? I did not thing? watch that. Pub What's the other one? The one with the where they climbed up your ass and turned you into a, like a, a damn it. Jason <laughs> Lee was in it. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Crap. I don't remember. I Jason, didn't, I'm not uh, sure puppet master? No, puppet, puppet. Uh, I'll remember it in a minute. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get back into it. Uh, great. Between the virtual world and the real world, there's a difference. Between the virtual world and the real world, there's a difference. Between the virtual world and the real world, there's a
so the thing that keeps on getting me is like they keep on coming out with like very high grade metal songs like yeah. the the it's like a soundtrack for what metal should sound like in in this era i guess like they take from like a little bit of slipknot and then you'll get like a little like inflamesy feel to it and then you'll get you know they barred a little bit from rage in that one then you'll mm-hmm. get a touch of nine inch nails and something yeah. a little bit and you're like what the hell is going on? It's like such a Heinz 57 metal that it just works so yeah. well. And then you have, you know, dancing and Sue Metal's voice. It's crazy. I mean, the other day I was listening to BMC, which is one of my favorites. Yes. Because, you know, I like electronic music mm-hmm. and I like metal. So when you put that together, that's yeah. like, it's like ear candy to me. I listen to it over and over. But I was thinking, because they're not, Sue Metal's not a songwriter, right? I don't. I see. That's the thing. I don't think so, but I know they have some kind of input into it. So right. the, you guys tell me if I'm wrong. But I'm. I know there's. They've gotten more control as of late, from what I hear. But I know there's the main guy who does the well, producing and everything. I know. I read about BMC, and she said that because there's that weird section where she's going and and she was saying that that came about because they told her to rap. Mm-hmm. Right on that track, and yeah. that was her version of a rap, which is cool as hell. Yeah, by the way, and it doesn't sound like I can see what she's saying. Yeah, but she did it in such a cool way. Um, so you know, maybe it's one of those things where it's a combination of songwriters and just. I mean, she's obviously talented. They yeah, put her at but in like yeah. improvisation, like where yeah. when she gets a hold of the song, she's like gets yeah. to interpret the way she wants, which right. is yeah. cool, and that's what makes these groups really good because they explore the artistry of it which makes things different right instead of just doing the same crap well, over and over again and look at bands like i'm thinking of bands well i'll mention for instance rem right? okay michael stipe had no input like on the making of the songs mm. like they gave him the finished song and then he makes the lyrics and yep. fits it over that and there's nothing wrong with that in fact, I remember reading something where they said that when he's in the room and they're trying to make songs, he'll be like, oh, that's good. Now change this and do that. And they'll be like, that's a different song. Yeah. Can like, you go? Let back. us write. <laughs> Stop trying to do Losing My Religion 3. <laughs> so. But anyway, so I guess my point is it, I don't view it as like a negative thing. No, no. She's not and, writing all this. Stuff. But then at least he gets to write the lyrics. He does right. do. He's the he's that part of the band. Right. The the poet, the artist right. on the, over top the of the The band doesn't music. exist without that. Yes, yeah, exactly. So. so that's fine. I I would like to know how involved they are. I mean, because even Mo, like she's an integral part to this group. I mean, oh yeah. So how do they? How? Do, what is? What level of input do they have? I wonder if anybody does know. That'd be interesting to find. It would be very, very interesting. Yeah. All right, get back into it. Cool riff, enter now. Ooh, so heavy. feels don't take this the wrong way because it feels weird to say but to say that metal is ear candy but yeah that's metal oh ear god candy. it is this one is <laughs> it, 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 that i mean i see uh people think and i think you were probably in this boat except for like the cock rock bands and stuff back in the day like cinderella and stuff like that they had right. those you know catchy dark songs right but then metal that I came up on was 
they it was off of riffs and lyrics and but they had these catches that people never waited for never listened for never right. so that is the stuff that i associate and they just bring it to the forefront and yeah. then add a pop touch to it yeah. but not this like the earliest stuff was a lot more poppy yes this absolutely. is a lot less poppy and i don't care what anybody says you guys always yell at me for saying that but it is and it makes me appreciate it even more because they've got this i mean even you could say um oh my god but the uh, metal was a little poppier with uh mm -hmm. with um what's his name from rage um tom morello but it's it's not that it's poppy it's just more upbeat there's a difference yeah, I mean, to it so to me pop is defined by not what everyone likes but catchiness yeah it's a style yeah. it's there there is a formula to a pop song and a lot of metal bands follow that same thing there is that same key that everybody hits to make something that's catchy you know there's there's mm -hmm. there's a formula right so uh we all try it we all find our own sound but there is still that golden chord that golden space that you use in music to kind of it's 90 percent of the hit songs but are written it, off of it but it, you can't artificially manufacture it i mean you can to an extent and there are people who oh, only listen to they're that. all yeah, yeah. Right. people always pick up on that even if the group gets big or not i mean this is why people said death to disco right because there was like someone found figured out the formula and just produced the stuff over and over but go back and listen to abba or to i do like abba i'm gonna be you honest. know what i mean like yeah there's a formula but uh, there me. can also be artistry within a yeah formula. it definitely can sorry we've been sitting on this screen too long oh people don't want to see our faces all big you, i mean really could have stayed on that but yeah so I, this this is a great song i it's mean I, just, I love it it's one of the one of my favorites so far i listen to the record all the time i listen to both records all the time it's got my faves but this one's quickly becoming like a staple. So this is an album that apparently is that I'm trying to figure out the date. Is that the European date format or the American it's for one? the like, is it, good. is it oh, November 10th or October 11th? October 11th. You think? Yes. Okay. Pretty sure I'm right. Because, you know, when I was in France, I had Crap. to get used to that. It was always. Hey, you got me second guessing myself. <laughs> I mean, we but can anyway, figure it out after this video. Yeah, so pretty sure it was October 11th. Crap. Anyway, so any, yeah, I don't know when this came out or coming out, but um, can't find it here in the U.S., or at least I haven't found it yet oh, because right. I've been at every, uh, I want vinyl. Yeah, and this is Blu-ray and DVD, so right. bleh. Um, but vinyl baby metal stuff is hard to find especially around here i've searched everywhere yeah. so i'm keeping on looking yeah it has it on the internet but then people want to charge you two three hundred dollars hey, for it which is just ridiculous we found we went to that one record store and you found a baby metal album yeah there, which is mm -hmm. pretty darn cool yep and we and of course i already had it but eh, you know it is what it is all right guys so all right. so what do you think i mean here don't take this the wrong way with this beer okay? mm -hmm. but I identified the smell. It's sort of like boiled eggs. You know, like there's a little touch of boiled egg in there. And I don't mean it in a bad way. It's something to do with the wheat mixed with the berry. I don't know. You know when you mix wheat and berry and it turns into boiled egg? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I won't say You're boiled eggs, that. but there is a scent that a you get it's like almost like, I would say, egg. yeah, like sulfury, yeah. but yeah. I would say more leaning to like a fermented fruit. You know, okay. I'll give you. You, that. you open up a bad jar of preserves, and you're like, "Oh, damn!" That, yeah. But they, you make that face too. But this is a great beer. Yeah, I I'm actually it. a fan of it. Yeah, and honestly, I would it. I would be happier if it was more berryish, but then it would be almost like it'd a be candy drink. Yeah, it'd, it'd be, be a little too much. too much. They they had a good balance. I I, I like this one. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is it's a little thin. But, mm -hmm. you know, these beers typically are a little bit But it's more, refreshing. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's actually uh, not the right time of year to drink this. I would say this would be spring, summer type of beer for me. Okay. You know, uh, boysenberry. Don't know when that comes into season, but yeah, 
who cares? Um, I would say this one is pretty good. I'm gonna say this is a three, uh, three, five. Mm, okay, so I'm gonna outscore you this time. So listen, mm. one thing I like about this is that it it's like a sour in a lot of ways. A L- little and bit, the flavor profile is. Well, and it hits you on the side of the mouth. With a little that. bit, yeah. You get a little tang. It's very on the back slight. Side. I mean, we've had some sours that were all, that were no no more sour than this. Oh yeah, true, yeah. true, yeah. Um, but I like it a lot. I'm gonna go a little higher. I'm gonna go a three seven on this bad boy. Nice. And my new thing is calling beers bad boys. Bad I'm boys. Continue that. I think it's a thing. I think it's gonna catch on. Yes. This it'll be viral tomorrow. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. So I think. I think we're ready to wrap this one up. We are. We have Bavana right here. Hmm. These folks that we work with. Yes. We know them personally. They are the godfathers to our shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but they will give you 10% off your first order from them. They ship out, you know, craft brews from all yep. over. Yep, from all over. They're, they're expanding every day. So make sure you go check out their selection. And um, uh, the code is down in the description, which is right down, down there. there. Yeah. Like, right. B- uh, below Between this us, can. Down here. Down there. Yeah. There's a little cage here. We yeah. keep it in. Um, and then we got, um, yeah, what else we got? We got the description or the link to this video, Baby Metal Maya. And I'm not going to read the whole di- the damn thing. And then uh, we also have the link to Lenny Boy Brewing that will be down there. Right. And then we're going to have a link to our merch This down here. You'll see that pop up. And you can like us, follow us, oh, and yeah. get the notification bell. And you can tell your friends about us. And you can send us all of your money. Uh, I mean, if you want to. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we're bored. We can accept more money. In fact, we can make a fancy studio. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. So we are done today. We are. Baby Metal rocks. Just, it's Baby. awesome. Cheers. Cheers.